How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nobalt Tag and today I'm going to show you how you can save a ton of battery on your AirPods. That's right, I'm going to give you some quick little tips that will make your AirPods last so so much longer. And the cool thing is that this video is universal, so all of the tips that I'm going to give you works for all AirPods models. So the AirPods 1, 2 and 3, your AirPods Pro and Pro second generation and also the AirPods Max. Of course some of the tips will be exclusive to one AirPods or the other, but the general idea serves for everyone. So. Without further ado, let's begin. So, as I mentioned, the whole point of this video is to make your AirPods last longer. So, with all the tips, you're gonna make your AirPods last one hour or more on a single charge. And this is extremely helpful, especially if you are low on battery, use those tips and you make sure that they will last much, much longer. And the first thing I wanna actually give you has to do with Siri. So that's why I'm picking up my iPhone here because all you have to do is go to settings and then we're gonna scroll down until we see Siri and search and we have to disable listen for Hey Siri. And this makes a ton of sense. So let's go ahead and disable the feature right here because if we disable listen for Hey Siri, when we're using our AirPods, it means that the AirPods won't be constantly listening for the command. Because when you have Listen for Hey Siri turned on, it means that your AirPods, when they are in your ears, they'll be constantly listening and looking for the command in order to invoke Siri. If you disable it, it won't be listening, therefore it'll save a lot of battery because the microphones will be off. So this is super important, so disable Listen for Hey Siri. The next tip has to do with listening to music itself. So let me actually go ahead and play this song, and as you can see, I'm using my AirPods Pro right now, and as you can also see, we have the Dolby Atmos indication right here. So let's talk about that. So as we actually pull down the control center and we tap and hold on the volume control, as you can see, See, we have Dolby Atmos, the indication right here, and we also have spatial audio with head tracking, as you can see. And this uses so much of your battery, you have no idea. Just this feature alone will eat one hour of your listening time on a single charge. That's right, one hour just on spatial audio. So what I recommend you to do if you want to save battery life is to actually tap here on spatial audio and turn it off and just like that you'll save one hour on a full charge of course if your airpods are on 50 percent you're gonna save 30 minutes but that's a huge thing right and when you disable spatial audio you also disable Dolby Atmos. As you guys can see, there's no indication here anymore. So then by disabling it, of course, you lose a little bit of quality, but you're saving minutes and minutes and sometimes even an hour of listening time. So this is a huge, huge deal. Keep in mind that Spatial Audio and Dolby Atmos are only available on the AirPods 3, Pro, Pro 2, and Max. Still talking about music playback, let's talk about another huge, huge villain of battery life. So if you pull down on the control center once again and tap and hold on your volume control once again, we have, of course, noise control. So we have noise cancellation, we have transparency and off. And again, this is huge, guys. And this feature, the noise control, is only available on the AirPods Pro, Pro 2 and Max. And this is huge. What I recommend you to do if you want to save a ton of your battery is to turn it off. Just by doing that, just by turning off your noise control, you're gonna save again at least one hour, 30 minutes to an hour on a charge. So just with those two last tips that I gave you, you can save up to two hours or at least an hour and a half of your battery life on a full charge. This is huge, guys. Now for tip number four, we have another thing that affects so, so much your battery and it has to do with volume. As easy as that, volume. Volume is actually one of the biggest, if not the biggest villain, if you're talking about battery life on headphones and of course, especially here on our AirPods. So if you can, and if you actually need to save a lot of your AirPods battery, I do recommend that you leave it at 50% or a little bit less, somewhere around here. Of course, you won't be fully immersed in the song, in the music, in the video, but trust me, this will save up again minutes and minutes and minutes, or even more of your battery life just by adjusting, just by actually lowering your volume a little bit. So if you need to save it, 
put your volume down. And last but not least, my final tip, and this is the most extreme one, which is use one AirPod at a time. And as I said, this is the most extreme one. I don't recommend that you do this all the time, but if you are on a pinch and if you really, really need to squeeze the maximum battery that you can and use your AirPods for as much time as you can, you can do this tip. So let's say that, for example, you need to go for a run or maybe go to the gym or go to work, go to school, whatever, and you realize that your AirPods battery are super low. So what I recommend you to do in this scenario is you go ahead, you pick one AirPod, and then you put it in your ear, and then you're gonna listen to your songs, you're gonna listen to your tunes, your videos, whatever, and then when this AirPod actually dies, you go ahead, put it back in, and then you pick the other one, and then you're gonna have the exact same time. So then it means that you're gonna actually have double the time that you would if you had both AirPods at the same time. So then you can literally double your AirPods battery, double your listening time by just using one at a time. I know this is not ideal, this is not how you wanna use your AirPods, but as I said, this is the final tip, the most extreme one on how you can literally squeeze every single minute that you can of your AirPods. So use one AirPod at a time. And of course, you can do this on all AirPods except for the AirPods Max, okay? So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye-bye, guys.